Hello, today I'm going to be taking you through a simulation of a steady state on a particular and changing it to dynamics mode. So it will be like a form of introduction to dynamics mode. So I have this question. We need to go, we need to separate the mixture of five paraffin into light and heavy key. So I have all of this. So <coughs> having our question now, I can go to my ICs. So I can start a new project and add a component. So from our question, we have a component from a thing to an exam. So I'm just going to input that to ISIS. I've been putting that to ISIS from a thing. I can press control and keep clicking on them to an exam. So I can add these five. <coughs> I've added my components so I can, as you can see, component list has changed to blue. So I, I need to add my fluid package, the thermodynamic property. And we are using from the question, we are using SRK. So I'm going to add SRK. <laughs> I need to add this. And here, this is SRK. It's writing OK. So I can move to my simulation. <coughs> we have to use a uh, distillation we have to separate using distillation column so i can name this i double clicked on the one this stream i double clicked on it like this so that's why it brings this form so i can have my feed press my enter let's go back to the question and see the feed stream it composed of this here we have temperature to be equal to 225 degrees fahrenheit and prayer to be equal to 250 psi so I go back. We have two to five. This is in centigrade. I change it to Fahrenheit. And this one to be two fifty psi here. I'm going to change it to psi here. So I have my molar fluid to be cost one thousand palm mole palm mole per hour. This palm mole per hour. I'm going to select it. I'm going to double click on molar fluid. It will tell me to input my molar fraction. I have this one to be equal to 0 0.03. Yes, I think it's 0 0.03. As you can see, a thing is 0 0.03, which is 3 percent. Propane is 0 0.20, which is 20 percent. And this one is uh, 0 0.37. So I'm going to input that. So this one is 0 0.2. So is a point three seven. This one is a point three five. And this one is a point zero five. So I can press OK. As you can see, my stream is OK. It's defined, so I can close this. I can just bring up um, uh, my distillation column here. Double click on my. I'm going to connect them. So my inlet stuff. Our number of stages is 12, so I'm going to input 12. I'm going to connect my feed stream, so I'm going to name this my Q. Let me just name it my Q condenser, that is the energy of condenser. This one will make it to be Q reboiler, energy of reboiler. We are using full reflux. I'm going to tick full reflux. I'm going to say this as stop stream. And I make this as bottom, bottom stream. So as you can see, I can move on next. I can move on next. So for my question, let's see. Let's see what's written in the question. Uh, they said the uh, condenser and reboiler pressures are two four eight and two five two psi here. Two four eight, two four eight. And 252 psi. I'm going to change this to psi. 252 psi. Yes, yeah, so I can move on. <coughs> Temperature estimate that's optional. So, our design we have flux ratio to be cost to 6.06 .06, and our vapor flow rate to be cost to 226 pound mole per hour. It's all in the equation. Pound mole per hour. Is it? 
yeah, two to six palm oil power. That is a vapor overhead product. So <coughs> I'm, I'm correct. So I can click done. So now I've specified everything that I need to specify. So I can just run my distillation color. And as you can see, it has converged. It means I have my results. So I can get my results now. I can look at so many parameters. I can open my workbook. Let me open my workbook. As you can see, feed. This is the temperature. This is the temperature. This is the period. But top of the this is the temperature. This is the, the top stream, rather. This is the temperature. And this is the prayer. So this is just the steady state stuff. So I'm going to be moving to dynamics. This is just an introduction to dynamics. I'm going to be moving to dynamics. So if I move to dynamics now, I can click here. I'm going to be showing you little things on dynamics. I can click here and say dynamic assistant. <coughs> you see, I see dynamic assistant is telling me some things that I need to do before I can move to dynamics. Like this one is telling me to disable stream prior specification, append new stream and code. What this means is that in dynamics, dynamics is real life, um, real life scenario. And before you, before anything can flow from one place to another, there must be always be from one position to another. There must always be uh, a change in prayer. So as this is telling me to append new valve to these two streams. Let's check. Append new valves to streams. Let me double click on it. It's telling me that both top and bottom I should append uh new valve. So I need to just go back to my simulation and look for my valve. This is my valve. I'm going to bring it here. I need another valve. I bring another valve for bottom product. So it's just for me to be able to enter my dynamics mode. So I just connect it top product. Let me just say make this to be called top out. Top out. So it's asking me for unknown delta p. So I want to make my change in p to be cost to just like fifty kilopascal and just assuming it's not as if maybe i really need it that much so i think that's done so i just have to connect this to let me connect my button and let me call this bot out so i'm going to make the delta p from parameters i'm going to make it to be close to 52 so right now i think i'm fine so this does not mean that I can enter my dynamics mode, but let me just check. As you can see, that uh, the one that is asking me to input uh, some prayers before is no more there. It means I'm done with that. So I just need to uh, solve all this. And these ones are not just add. It's telling me to disable prayer specification in some streams and code like that. So I can just, instead of going through all the stress, you can just tell ISIS to make all the changes for me. I don't want to be disturbing myself, so I can just tell ISIS to make the changes by clicking make changes. So, and ISIS is now telling me that the following changes could not be made. <coughs> ISIS could make the changes onto all other problems, but only this one stream prayer differ from attached stage. And that's this is why ISIS is giving me that information. It's telling me that for you in a dynamics mode, the prayer of the feed must be the same as the prayer of the plates at which the feed is entering the distillation column so i just have to double click on distillation column i have i want to go and check the prayer so a prayer of that plate that is the plate six so i can click on performance and i can check my column profile so column profile let's see my Condenser prayer is 1710 kilopascal and the reboiler prayer is 1717 kilopascal and uh, uh, sixth tray, which is the sixth main tower, is 1713. So I'll just go back and go and make the feed prayer to be close to 1713. Press enter. So as it's giving me a warning. I'll just include that that is entering so <clears throat> i can just make this let's go back to our 
dynamic resistance. So you can see the dynamic resistance does not identify any problem. Look at it. The, 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 the stand did not identify any problem. It means we are good to go. I can click finish. We can we are good to go. But mind you, I'm still in my dynamics mode. So I mean I'm still in my steady state mode. But now since dynamic resistance has told me that I can go ahead to move on to uh dynamics mode so i can just go to my dynamics mode and i'll just click on dynamics mode i is asking me are you sure you want to switch to dynamics mode i just i need to switch to my dynamics mode so i just click on yes so now i'm in dynamics mode the aim of this tutorial is just to tell you the temperature we want actually it is the question we want to know the flow rate of the feed flow rate of the uh, temperature of the feed column failure flow rate and co in five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 25 minutes 30 minutes so let's go back to our high seas so i will just say i can click on integrator if i click on integrator so as you can see here this is the current time because i have not run anything this is the current time this is the end time i will change this from non-stop to five minutes i press enter this is telling me that should isis use real time no i don't want isis to use real time i want isis to just give me the answer what um what i will be having after five minutes so that i don't i don't have the luxury of time to wait for five times in real world so since i have my ICs, i will just ignore this real time i'm not using real time so this telling me acceleration i want it to be fast like 1.0 and go like that so i can say start check before i click on start look at this message this message is telling me that integrator reset so if i click start now start it's telling me that integrator time five specified end time as rich it means it has already as it has calculated what i needed for five minutes so now let's go to workbook in five minutes the prayer of the feed is if you can recollect that the last time we check our feed the prayer is one nine one three kilopascal but now, after five minutes, the prayer is one eight five one. The top, the top stream, the, the stream, the prayer of the top stream is now one eight four nine kilopascal. The prayer of the bottom stream is now one eight five five. Okay, let's now go back to our distillation column and let's go and check column profile. In five minutes. Uh, the condenser prayer is one eight four eight, and the and the um and the no the condenser the, the condenser prayer will be the same will be the same prayer as the first tour because this first tour is this is the one that is next mm, to the condenser so they will they will have the same prayer and also the same temperature and this one too they have the same at five minutes they have the same uh one eight five five as you can see my my this layer column is no more saying converge it's, it's telling me it is in dynamics mode. it means all these things can change at any time and this is these are the values these are the current states we have in five minutes let's move ahead and let me just set um let me just close this and let me go back to my dynamics and let me set let me res, let me reset the integrator i've reset the integrator is telling me that integrator reset so i want to i want to change this to 10 minutes so after 10 minutes let's see before i do this before i do that before i do this let me just close this, this. before i before i run it let me see what uh remember that our top our top stream the prayer is 1849 now 1849 1855 here for bottom stream and the flow rate is 189 189.3 here 
683.1 before running it so let me just run it for 10 minutes but i'm going to be focusing on the prayer 1849 try to remember that and 1855 so i'm going to run my integrator again <laughs> it has already set it to 10 minutes so i can just close this and click on run 1849 don't, don't forget that so after running it 10 minutes has already elapsed and let's check our results after that so our top product you will see that the uh the prayer before is 1849 but after 10 minutes it is now 1853 and uh, um my prayer now is now 1859 one eight five nine, and if you notice the temperature has also changed the temperature has also changed if we should if we should go back to the column profile still let's go back to column profile column profile you will see that everything has changed again everything has changed again these values are not the ones we have before it has changed take for example this is one eight five three this is one eight five three now and this one eight five nine this is 1853 now, and this is 1859. Let me run it for another 10 minutes. 1853, 1859, and let's see the difference. 1853, 1859. Let me just run it. 1853, 1859. So it I've run it for another 10 minutes. <coughs> let's, let me see you, my hair. This is still 1853, and this is 1858. That is the prayer. Of, of this tree which is which will be equivalent to the reboiler is now one eight five eight and if i should check my stream the values would have changed one eight five three one eight five eight and also the temperature and cool everything has changed so this is how you keep on uh running your pro, your profile uh, running your uh stuff so uh, your integrator your integrator for five minutes after five minutes run it for 10 minutes run it for 20 minutes run it for 30 minutes run it for 40 minutes as long as you like and the beauty of isis is that if you want to run it for 120 minutes you don't have to even wait for 120 minutes before um before you get all your results before you get all your results you don't have to wait for heat so you don't have to wait for heat just press it just give ices 120 minutes and before you know it 120 minutes is is done already in 120 minutes so that's how to go about dynamics mode uh, dynamics or uh, in ices i hope this really helps you once again i'm mulu ede manuel mulu from the department of chemical engineering erika Gintola university of technology wish you all the best in your endeavor thank you and god bless yes there's something i would like to make you understand uh for every time you want to run your uh your dynamics mode let's say you've already run it for five minutes and you want to run it for another 10 minutes please make sure you reset the integrator by clicking on reset after clicking on reset you click on yes after clicking on yes then you can go back to your integrator and specify the time you want maybe this 10 minutes before you can change it to 20 minutes after changing it to 20 minutes then you can run it you can start so after this 20 minutes is elapsed it has elapsed you have uh, you have your result again so you want to input maybe like 40 minutes again you go back to your reset click on reset integrator and go to your integrator time set your integrator time to whatever time you need it to for and then you run it that's how it works make sure you always reset your integrator thank you so much thank you for listening